So who initiated the sex? Him, basically. Have y'all spoken since? Yeah. No. Mm, that was a major L for Lawrence. Well, uh, first of all, it's cool to, you know, always smash your ex. That's what you do, you know? Um, I have no problem with that. That was a win for Lawrence uh, in the Lawrence Hive. Um, the, the, the best part about it was after he was done, he got up and went and washed his hands and uh, also washed himself of her existence. He washed his hands with her and he walked out the door and didn't even look back. That was my favorite part. Lawrence smashing Issa was a complete waste of time. Um, he came, he came, he saw, but he didn't conquer. I mean, it was just like, it was three strokes. Like, he, I would have been upset because I feel like, why did, why are you here? Like, what was the point of that? Oh, and that was after he uh, came back from uh, Tasha's house. He had a McRib and got in her rib. So, you know, Lawrence do be winning. You a fuck nigga. Yo, come on. No, you know what? You worse than a fuck nigga. You a fuck nigga who thinks he's a good dude. You know what, let's, let's give Tasha a round of applause for stepping up for us, okay? I was really upset when Tasha called Lawrence a fuck nigga that thinks he's a good nigga because in that moment, I felt like me and Tasha were here. And I never wanted to be able to relate or agree with Tasha. And a fuck nigga who thinks he's a good guy has potential to be the worst type of guy to deal with because they don't know how dramatic you might you might take their fucking around on you and so i guess i was team tasha at that point tasha like why like why'd you do that you ruining something good girl he just came to the barbecue he was chilling with your ugly ass cousins and you gonna sit here and do this to him come on now everybody's been tasha before whether you wanted to or not you've been tasha and it's okay it's all right but she called Lawrence out for what he was, a fuck nigga who thinks he's a good dude. And that's worse than a regular fuck nigga that knows he's a fuck nigga. And it's your fault anyways, because you knew what it was. Everybody knows when a man goes to your house over just for the weekends and then goes back to stay on the air mattress on the floor, you ain't his gal. You ain't his gal. Nick, because if he really liked you, he would have started slowly moving in. You would have seen a toothbrush here and there, an Xbox controller, you know. Abortion receipts. It'd have been a lot of things at your house. But nah. For it, go for it, go. Ho for it, ho for it, ho. And you know what? I'm a firm believer that every woman should go through a whole phase, whether it's early in life or late in life. And it's okay. So five points for Issa for the five niggas in her rotation. First of all, um, Issa running around having a, a whole phase like she the one that got cheated on. I feel like Issa's whole phase is necessary only because she didn't get one, but it's just like the manner in which she's cho choosing to hoe is what bothers me. It's like, Luke James was fine, but you were awkward as hell when it came to him, but then the ugly boy with the big head is who you chose to give your box to. Like, I just, it's just kind of like decisions. That big hammerhead shark boy, that boy head big. That boy head is big. It's a little late whole phase, but it's okay because she was in committed relationships before the whole phase, so this is okay. Issa, first of all, how you having a whole phase at the age of 30? You 30. You 30, that ain't a whole phase. Just say you from Dallas, you old. That's it. You just gotta, you just gotta just be real with yourself. Crashing your car for an ugly dick pic is just like, this whole phase is affecting Issa in ways that it shouldn't. And I feel like she's, she's not cut out for this life. So she should just stop. This is, you know, this is the problem with dudes. You think you know what you want. You think you can handle that threesome. You ain't have enough dick for two bitches. You don't even have enough dick for Issa. How you gonna give out, you giving out disappointments, dick and disappointments. This is horrible. I am tired. Of, uh, of women disrespecting uh, Lawrence uh, for being efficient in uh, the bedroom when he did have that threesome. First and foremost, uh, y'all don't know nothing about men's health. Y'all don't know how it works. Y'all never been put in that type of situation. Then you talking about, oh, wait, I, I got it. Give me a couple seconds. No, you ain't got it. <laughs> you ain't ready for the next round. How y'all calling him names like Faux Pump Chump and, and 
And what's the other one? Quickie Ricky and Too Many Bennett. Look, stop it. He the four-stroke goat, okay? You see what he did to Issa? He nigga knocked her box. You hear me? That's what he did. Ding dong, and he bounced. I'm happy that Lawrence had the threesome because I believe that men don't heal, they hoe. And so I'm glad that he took that L because to me, it was a very humbling experience for him. Like, he realized he's not that nigga. Now you embarrassing us. You tell, you letting everybody know that you're giving out whack disappointment dick. Lawrence definitely gets points for that, right? Because he had two girls there, he had one on his face, and he had one on his waist. And I don't know if y'all know this, but it's hard to focus with having intercourse while you cannot breathe. So uh, that's definitely points for Lawrence. I had no idea he was in the Navy. But it's like he's trying to get back at Issa by only hurting himself. So what's the point of that? Like, these two white bitches basically just pimped you out and went to go get Chinese food and Coke afterwards, so. I feel like Joe's lying. Um, Obviously. Dro is in an open marriage. His wife is not in an open marriage. We can see that from a mile away. <laughs> <laughs> How you know that this is an open marriage? Dro got open marriage dick. His wife, well, don't know. That's your home girl. How you ain't gonna ask? First of all, I don't even know why women believe men anyways when they talk about they when they describe their relationship. I, I told a girl yesterday that I ain't got a girlfriend and she was my girlfriend. Molly. Joe is fine as hell, so I don't know how you held out for so long. You cannot give bitches the kiss and stroke if you just fucking. That's not, that's just, if you look at the intimate sex between the two. First of all, there's no such thing as an open marriage, fellas. I just want y'all to know that's a lie. There's no such thing as an open marriage, and don't you ever go to your wife asking for no open marriage, because it's going to be an open casket at the funeral when she... Cut your ass open. Molly, why did you even put yourself in that situation? So I feel like it could have been handled differently, but knowing Molly, it was only gonna end up with her fucking him. 